All right, Cancer. I'm going to get a couple of messages for you. I think I'm going to be on for mm, a later on tonight. So, um, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know where I left off at, but here you go. We're going to give energy for tonight. See where we are. See what you got going on. Remember, if this resonates, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If the cards pull over, I'm going to shuffle all the cards. I was going to say if they fall over like that, then I'll take them. Just like that. You see that? And we'll talk about them as they return them over. I'll do my tarot cards like that too. This is a longing is at the bottom of the deck. There you have it. Let's see what deck I want to pull. I'll just pull regular tarot to clarify and see four cards. Hopefully only four cards come out. If not, we're going to clarify this card and see what comes out and we'll turn it over as we go. How about that? Um, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, then we'll just take the card that comes out as long as it's only one or two. How about that? So hopefully, okay, see, that's for this first card here. All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. First of all, did y'all see that? Nope, you didn't see it because my camera ain't facing that way. <laughs> Sorry, I have conditioner in my hair. It's my hair wash day. I've been buying new contraptions to wear. I don't have to struggle and press my hair. So I bought this thing called TYMO on, let me make sure my cards aren't in reverse. I don't like to read reversals, but I will if I have to. But anyway, I bought this thing called TYMO on Instagram, off of Instagram. And when I tell you, it works. It really works. And then I just bought this new blow dryer. That is like a blow dryer brush. I have one that's supposed to be um, a blow dryer. Anyway, there you have it. That's where I'm at. I got conditioner in my hair. All right. Let's see what this energy is for here. All right. That came out like that. Now we're doing the third card and see what energy for the third card. And we'll go from there. How about that? Nothing came out. Nope. Nothing came out. And then we'll talk about it. Bear with me. I want to say thank you to everybody who has supported my channel. You guys coming on, like, share, subscribing, and clicking the bell notification has got me um, almost monetized, you know? Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I will. I reached the amount to, in order to get monetized. I didn't think that you guys would like to hear my messages that I send out. My messages are as authentic as they can be. Too many cards came out, but you know what? I'll go ahead and take it. Something is meant for that to come. It's meant to come out that way. I'll take it. One more card for the fourth card, and then we'll talk about it. How about that? Well, this one is working on something that came out that way. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is uh, securing your finances, limiting how your money goes out, and conserving what you're doing. Longing is here. Someone is secretly um, yearning for you. Hmm. All right. Could be a Scrooge McDuck energy. That's what I see that card deck as. I mean, this card as Scrooge McDuck. So let's just go ahead and start turning this over. We have a soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. That's a good thing. And then the cards that came out with that is the Ten of Swords energy and also the Five of Swords. So maybe in the past you've been dealing with someone who did not respect you um, and accept you uh, and loved you, you know, unconditionally. And so with the Ten of Swords energy, and remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There was a sudden end ending or feeling like there you were being backstabbed. And this is the ego card to me, the Five of Swords energy. You were dealing with somebody that... Um, did not respect you. So remember, your soulmate 
loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. And so it just seems like to me with the energy being here, this ego card, Five of Swords energy, it's like an uh, unwinnable situation or feeling like somebody was sneaky in the past as well and feeling like you were defeated. And that's the reason why the backstab card comes out with the, t uh, with the Ten of Swords, you know, sudden endings, failures, feeling like you failed and felt like you were being backstabbed because you were dealing with somebody who did not love you, who was probably not your soulmate, or at that time they weren't your soulmate because they were immature. Um, and then we have marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So you could be in a new situation. You could be with a new person. Um, yeah, you could be with a new person, and the old person could be longing for you. The one who was ego-based in the Scrooge McDuck energy, uh, meaning that, you know, Scrooge McDuck swam through his money. He swam through his money. He knew how many pennies, how many dimes, how many quarters he had. If you're of a particular age and know who Scrooge McDuck is, let me say that much. Um, he knew what he wanted. Uh, and it was never, you never knew, at least what I can remember, that he didn't have anyone. And I even think uh, Daisy Duck made an appearance uh, at one point. What you're trying to do is on by Jagged Edge. So this card came out. Oh, boy marriage with the three of pentacles in reverse the three of pentacles in reverse is unfinished business it's frustration and there is a delay so maybe there is um a person who may be your soulmate or somebody that you have been around but based upon the past there is some type of delay or frustration because of the, the unfinished business when it comes to this past hurt does that make sense then we have the addiction card and addiction is affecting this relationship so I don't necessarily, I think, let me just say this to you. I know me being a particular person when I had dealt with someone who wasn't uh, my divine counterpart, shall I say, I was addicted to that energy of that, that runner chaser energy. I don't know. Could be addiction. Could be you addicted to some type of drugs, person, place, or thing. You take what resonates and leave what doesn't, you know? And so that is where this energy is to me. But you working on yourself. So if you are addicted to a certain particular person, you've been working on yourself. We have the uh, ten, of Cup, ten of Pentacles energy here. And with the Ten of Pentacles energy, this is happy love. This is harmony. This is carefree energy. So in regards to this, an addiction is affecting the relationship. Again, you could have in the past been addicted to um, toxic energy or toxic people. The star card is here, which is... Um, optimism and it's is and it's grace but the star card also says that um no matter what the situation you find yourself in there is always hope faith uh, have faith be optimistic and focus on self-care so again you could have been addicted to this toxic relationship and this new person coming in is letting you know that i'm here to help you i'm here to get you through this they're very supportive of you um, mind, body, and spirit or soul, however you want to say it, they're very supportive of you and they're trying to help you heal from this situation. Hierophant energy is here. This is a tradition, uh, you know, this is like traditional institution. This is, could be, um, you know, a teacher or somebody even higher authority or a church government, but it could be us you know, doing what we're doing and reading these cards. You could be listening for different information in regards to getting out of this uh, nine of swords energy. There's a lot of swords on the board. Could be dealing with air energy, but there's swords and pinnacles as well. Um, so um, could be uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn you're dealing with or Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, you know. Uh, so far, that's what's out here. Star card is um, uh, Aquarius energy. So again, um, the star card being here in the the Hierophant is Taurus. So uh, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's all out on this board. No, uh, right now it's about to be water. But anyway, the swords are here. And so this could be, the soulmate could be somebody in with water energy. You know, um, Ace of Cups, uh, excuse me, not Ace of Cups, Cancer, uh, Pisces, the Scorpio, the Knight of Cups energy. Always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. This could be the person that's coming to help you heal, work on yourself. So like I said, again, the nine of swords energy uh, had you feeling stress, anxiety, and hopelessness when you're dealing with a toxic type energy, right? And so, yeah, again, like I said, the, the knight of cups energy is always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. This person that here is your soulmate, 
could be somebody that you've been dealing with on a daily basis. This other person was in that Scrooge McDuck energy and didn't have the capability to love you. And so in turn, you had to figure it out on your own. Protect it. You are safely, you are safe and guidedly divine. Uh, and divinely guided you are safe and divinely guided so in regards to that this person coming in is helping you deal with your addictions to toxic energy and in turn you're working on yourself with the eight of pentacles energy you're working on yourself you're learning you're working hard and you're beginning a new outcome when it comes to what you're doing and in this process when this person sees you this ex or toxic energy sees you, they're longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Um, Donnell Jones has a song saying, I'm yearning for you, love. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm going to tell you about Donnell Jones' Jagged Edge. And yeah, anyway, so, you know, this toxic energy is, it's, it's hard for you to get out of this toxic energy. That's how I kind of see it. And, you know, take what resonates. This could be your energy. This could be, you know, the person that you're dealing with energy when it comes to you, but someone that you've been around or somebody that's been helping you that you're not even looking at and that, that same energy is your soulmate and it could be a sacred union with marriage and that's why the Hierophant could be here. But you can't do anything here because this is like teamwork, collaboration and seeing good results. But if you're have you have addictions and you haven't, if you haven't healed yet, this person knows that you have unfinished business and it might cause this frustration and a delay when it comes to marriage. So that is why this person understands that you have to heal first. You have to heal. You have to work on you first before they can try to come in and save you or, or be that person. So until then, they're going to keep helping you work on you. And they are going to, you know, they might tell you how they feel. They might not. They might bring a couple of to you. They might not. They might just, you know turn around and just be there a support system for you you know this this could be that energy there but this romantic energy is here because this soulmate is nearby if they haven't gotten there yet they're they're praying for you you know i don't know take what resonates leave what doesn't but that is what it is this soulmate someone who un accepts you you know the marriage a sacred union you know addiction you know um, this addiction is affecting this relationship because you can't see anything but heartbreak right now. All you see is heartbreak, but you're protected. The universe is protecting you. The universe has taken you out of one toxic energy and putting you into the right one that was divinely selected. Now, again, I always tell you, if you listen to The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Global Shan, no, it's not my book and I don't get any credit off of it. But if you listen to it, it basically lets you know that, you know, um, if this person isn't yours by divine right, this energy here, then the universe will send you its equivalent. Someone who is the person that is going to fill all your needs. And, you know, until then, you need to bless this person um, wherever they are. And hopefully that they will heal from, from this toxic energy. Does that make sense? Um, I'll go ahead and leave it. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll go ahead and leave it at this. Uh and then I'll come on and do another read. But yeah, I think this is this is a good read for you to leave it at that. This is what you're working on. Someone is behind you. Only you know. I can't say what it is. Either the universe is sending someone to uh, come in and become your soulmate or someone who is around you on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis or that's in your you know universe somewhere is actually being patient for you and waiting for you to heal before they make a move and it's going to cause delays like I said and it feels like you could because they know you have unfinished business so they want to come in with you and you have a tainted heart because you're so hurt but they want to help work with you uh, to move forward so you know what maybe that's what I'll do I'll clarify this Knight of Cups energy who is this Knight of Cups energy I'll, yeah the hangman energy someone who is willing to surrender to an experience or a situation that's the hangman energy, and that's who that Knight of Cups energy. He's willing to wait for you. This he or she is willing to wait for you and surrender to an experience or a situation uh, because they know that, you know, there's going to be some type of unfinished, there, there is some type of unfinished business that you have to um, 
take care of. So the hangman says, when it feels like there's nothing you can do, let go of your resistance, embrace the state of pause, and try to see things from a new light. Hangman energy. All right, you guys. Watch me work. They're watching you work. They're watching you heal. You're working. All right, you guys. Have a nice day.